Good morning, everybody. A very good morning to you. If you've just joined me, a very warm welcome. It is, of course, me, Scotty McClue, and I'm broadcasting live on Periscope. It's just after 11 o'clock on Friday morning, Friday the 26th of May, 2017. And you won't be used to seeing me at this time in the morning. And you won't be used to seeing me without my flat cap. But there's a reason I'm not wearing the flat cap today, is because I want to talk to you all in a little more serious manner than perhaps we're accustomed to. The other night, the Manchester Arena was bombed by terrorists, by a suicide bomber, and perhaps the work of a lot more terrorists in our country. For many years, I was very happy living in Manchester. I worked at Media City in Salford Keys, and I shared three hours per night with the people of Manchester. We had a three-hour radio phone-in. So I was in their homes. I talked to them every night. I talked to hundreds and hundreds of them. I broadcast to millions of them. And the northwest of England is a very sturdy and hardy place full of beautiful, warm people. People with big hearts and big minds. When I was in Manchester, I had the privilege of performing at the Manchester Arena, where the concert took place the other night. I performed in front of almost 20,000 people. And I got to guest conduct one of the finest orchestras in the world, Manchester's Halley Orchestra, at a huge concert. And it was a wonderful, wonderful time in my life. So my heart just sank the other night when I saw what had happened at the arena. And I wished that I could have been there talking to all of you. I send very deep condolences to the families of those young people who so tragically and so unnecessarily lost their young lives. There is nothing that we can say or do that will mend that deep, deep wound. But we can send you love. We can say that the support of the whole of the country the support of the northwest of England, the support of the world is with you right now at this terrible time for you. And we can only hope that these deep, deep wounds will start to heal. And we can only hope that the scars left by these deep, deep wounds will start to peel. But not now. They can't. I was brought up in a household where we had lost young people during the Second World War. And it goes on for a very, very long time. It affects families, parents, for all time. No parent feels that they should still be alive after their child has gone. Now, all I can say is that we need to have faith. We need to have faith in the world. I know people have different faiths, but we need to have faith in the world. We need to increase our knowledge and our understanding of other people and of their religion. We need to get a message across to the misguided people who pursue terror, thinking it will bring an end. It makes us want to take a life for a life. It makes us want to take an eye for an eye. But as that great, great world leader, Mahatma Gandhi said, if you take an eye for an eye, the whole world will end up blind. The whole world will be blind. And Mahatma Gandhi lost his life 
in tragic circumstances. Having said that, his life was a life very well lived. These young people were just beginning their journey. All I can say is that when I have lost people very close to me, and I have lost many, they're only in the next room. They are still with us. Their hearts, their minds and their souls are with us, and always will be, even unto the end of time. All my love to all of you in Manchester. All my love to those who are suffering. Huge thank yous to those who went and tended to the sick and injured and dying and those who had passed on. Thank you to all the emergency services all the doctors and nurses, the ambulances, they do their job, but they will be suffering terribly for what's happened, for what they have seen. Nobody has asked for this, and yet it has happened. We cannot go back, but we can go forward. Thank you for watching, and from me, Scotty McClue, bless every single one of you.